Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Tamika. Hello gorgeous. If you are new, again, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, oh, welcome back to the gang gang. As you guys already know, your girl has been doing Vlogtober. I have been doing very well. So I am gonna be making a video for Vlogtober, but I decided to get on today. Today, 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 of course, to do um, a weight loss update with you guys because I still want to continue that, especially for those who are basically on my channel or have subscribed to my channel because of weight loss. I still want to give you that content outside of October because it's not going to be related to weight loss at all. And then, of course, um, during later in the week, I will do a hair update for those who have subscribed to my channel for only hair content. So my Vlogtober is, se is separate from my regular posts, okay? So just wanted to clear that up. All right, your girl has lost some weight, as you probably already seen, or maybe I put it in the thumbnail, I don't know. But I have lost four pounds in one week doing <laughs> OMAD, which is one meal a day. Now, I just want to get on here and clarify that I did not jump into OMAD one meal a day just like that and boom, here I go. No, if you have been following me, you have known that I have been doing intermittent fasting. I said I mentioned that I did 16-8, which is I fasted for 16 hours and had an eight hour window. Then I progressed to a 20 hour fast with a four hour window. Well, Early of last week on a Tuesday, which was the 28th of September is when I started OMAD, one meal a day. So that means I fast for 23 hours and I have like that one hour and sometimes I stretch it out to an hour and a half to eat, a, um, eat my one meal that is going to hold me over to the next day. Now, um... The reason why I did is because basically I'm getting ready to go on vacation soon and I want to drop a few pounds in two. I just wanted to take it to the next level. Um, I've done OMAP before last year and I lost, I think it was um, either four or five pounds in six days. Like, come on, OMAP works. You can eat whatever you want or you can be restrictive and do keto. Um, you can compare, you can um, tie it with keto or you can tie it with paleo, tie it with pescatarian, vegan, plant-based, whatever. Or you can just do simple uh, whole foods or just eat whatever you want. But just keep in mind that you want to eat sustainable foods that is going to hold you over and keep you full longer versus a whole lot of junk food and processed food, which is basically mainly what I've been talking about my whole weight loss journey. Jump from, I think it was 185, then moved up to 188. So I was like, no, 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 no. We got to get this back down. So that's why I did OMAD. That's another reason why I did OMAD. So um, I went from 188, and then today I weighed myself, I am 184.6. So I'm going to continue OMAD. I am not going to put a end date to my OMAD like how I did with keto, you know what I'm saying? Because with keto I said I was going to do four weeks and then I only end up doing it for three, cutting out real early. So I'm not going to give myself an end date. I'm just going to keep going until my body says that's enough. And I prefer to listen to my body. When my body says that's enough, then that's when I'm going to stop. But um, as far as like how I handle it during the week. During the week, it's a, I just fast for 23 hours. So I eat at 12 o'clock, which is the 12 o'clock number. That number is something that I have been consistent with, with ever since I did 16 hour fast and the 20 hour fast. So I stuck with 12 o'clock, just shortened my hours week by week. And that's how I was able to manage down to one meal a day. And during the weekends, I'm sorry, on the weekends, I keep it the same. Now, if I do have something going on, maybe around like 4 o'clock, like maybe we're going out to dinner, but I eat at 12 o'clock, I don't wait, I don't prolong my fast past 12 o'clock until 4. What I do is I just eat normal at 12 o'clock, but eat a little bit light, and then I will extend my eating window 
to four o'clock till around the four o'clock hour because then that's when I'm gonna eat my second meal and then I'll just end up fasting from four all the way up until 12 o'clock so it will potentially look like a 20 hour fast by Sunday and then I'll just go right back on my regimen OMAD on Sunday just do 12 to 1 and then stop eating around 1 o'clock and then boom don't eat again until 12 o'clock the next day so I make it work to fit my schedule but for the most part if I have to stretch out my fasting window I mean stretch out my eating window for whatever circumstance that happens on the weekends because weekends are so spontaneous that you don't really know what's going on until oh girl let's go here or, oh girl let's go there so you know make sure you keep that in mind trust the process if you're not dropping as much weight as somebody else don't even look at them just worry about yourself that's all you gotta do okay so I just wanted to get on here and just tell you that little bit that your girl is doing OMAD and I'm going to continue doing OMAD until my body gets tired. I hope you um, learned something from this. Let me know if you are going to try OMAD or if this is your first time. Uh, drop me any questions down below in the comment section and remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will check you out a little bit later. Please don't forget to check out my Vlogtober if you have not already done so. If you're only here for weight loss, then I'll see you next week. But just keep riding with me because I'm going to give you more content as the days go on for October. All right. See you later, gorgeous. Bye.